15 Minutes of Fame. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go. All right, man, 15 Minutes of Fame. Use a Crip. Crip here. Man. Crip here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga K, man. You know what I'm saying? Victoria Park, my nigga Dre. This is great, too. That little clothing they got going. I've been seeing yeah. that a lot, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. They trying to get something going. Yeah, so, you yeah, know, yeah. I think I'll support that always, man. It's, it's moving. It's moving, man. Let me call Cortez on the phone, man. Yeah, we man. have a problem here. Yo, man. man. You know, Royalty. Do we have a, we have a problem? <laughs> nah, man. You, you don't have know, to call my man. Spanish Connect, nah, man. man. You it, don't want no smoke. Let him go and stay asleep wherever he at. We're going to wake him up. Is coffee coming out here? January 11th. I think coffee is going to try to make it, man, to be out here. If she make it, then we got to definitely talk about it. Yeah, we can definitely get both of us talking that shit on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. know what time it is. He know why he booked us. You know what I'm saying? He know why we here. You feel me? Alright, man. So I want to talk to you, man. Like right. I say, man, about the whole um the Nick Cannon versus Eminem. Um f- first off, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on record and say this. I, I still I know I'm not gonna be able to talk to Nick yeah. Cannon, but I still would like to know why, if you got a beef with Eminem, why would you put four, three or four or whatever battle Which, rappers yeah. on a record? On you a record. go at him like it's battle rap, it's battle you know. Rap. So yeah, yeah, yeah. um but Lo and behold, you know, he had those guys on there. Big facts. You voiced your opinion yeah. about the record. Yes, sir. Tell me what you thought about it and, you know, in the backlash you In got. the backlash. All right, so me personally, I just like, now, now, for one, like to even say that, uh, I understand why he put them on there. In my opinion, I think he put them on there because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they, they, they rep uh, Incredible, which is his label, you know what I'm saying? So, right. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't know the... The, the behind the scenes on their deals or however that go, but I know they, they represent him. You know what I'm saying? As far as being on Wild and Out, so they, they got a good relationship with him. So it's like, all right, my man's dissing somebody. Is, he, they saying, fuck you, fuck you too. You know what I'm saying? So I get that point all the way serious. Now, me personally, I just so happened to heard the diss record on some, I think I seen Nick Cannon featuring Suge Knight diss Eminem. So typical, you feel me? I'm into rap. I'm a rapper, but not only that, I'm a fan of, of music. So a diss record, let me hear that, man. Somebody going at him, let me hear what Nick talking about. I click on him. I just, it didn't move me. Me personally, as I'm hearing it, I'm like, this ain't like no hot diss record. This ain't, and, and it's not, and it's not that I was even looking at it like, oh, this ain't hot because of Hitman Holler. This ain't hot because of Clips. I'm saying that the diss as a whole just wasn't hot. I'm thinking no Vaseline. I'm thinking hit them up. I'm thinking idols become rivals. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking of all these diss records that I'm into, me personally. You know what I'm saying? That I'm like, oh, yo, these is diss records right here, you feel me? They, they going at they, they going at the dude a little bit more harder, or what, you know what I mean? What not, right. you know what I'm saying? Pause, but you know what I'm saying? They really violating. So when I'm hearing this, and it's like real simple ABC type of bars, like kind of like how they rap on Wild and Out, which we know from being in the battle rap culture that they water it down for TV. So I understand on TV, you got to get your money. You watering it down for everybody can digest it from kids to the oldest person in the building. You dig what I'm saying? So I understood why they did that, but I'm thinking on a diss record. Right, right. Millions of people finna hear this all over the world, finna hear this. You going at one of the biggest rap stars in the world, and you dissing him. This ain't, I'm not thinking it's a joke. I'm not thinking it's some little petty cake bullshit rap. You feel me? I'm thinking you finna this empty the clip. This ain't rap regular either. battle rap either. Yeah. You on the record. You finna, I think you finna go annihilate him, and I know them for having bars. You know what I'm saying? And knowing them for, for being able to rap on beats dope. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fucks with him, man. Outside of all this shit, nigga, silent. So I'm like, in my head, I'm when I'm when I'm clicking on it, and I see him coming up. I'm like, oh, he finna gas. He ain't gas to me. So I just post, oh man, Nick should have used the Red Squad. Now I'm joking because I really don't care who he used because it's his business. But at the same time, uh, I, people start hitting me up like, oh man, you fake, man. How you gonna say that, man? Them your boys going at Nick. Like I'm just like, bro, my nigga. No, hold on. I'm not saying, nigga. I hope they get paid from this. I hope they get more exposure from this. I hope they get more opportunities from this. I hope they get everything they're supposed to get from this. But me personally, as a fan of hip hop, and, and I don't think that this record was the one to represent them either. Not even just Nick Cannon. Forget Nick Cannon, because he never was a dope MC rapper to us anyway. I think Nick Cannon knows that he's not really he's not known for that. He's put some more behind the scenes, does stuff for the community, got TV shows, he do a lot of other stuff that's bigger than music, movies, everything. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think he looks at himself as a, a, a MC that's just known to be a legend, uh, you know what I mean, a lyrical killer like that. But these dudes, we talking Charlie Clips, hit man, holla conceited. These is top battle, these top. are the top, these is top tier battle rappers. They call them God tier battle rappers. So when you on the record and people who who might not be all the way into y'all and they like, hold on, who are these dudes? All they gonna say is, oh, some battle rappers this man can he? That's what they rapping like. Oh, them battle rappers ain't. Oh man, they can't fuck with the battle rap man. Then it goes to man. They can see they can kill him in the ring, but on the beat, <laughs> battle rappers can't make can't make wow. records, man. They can't rap on beat. 
Told y'all, and that's all you seeing. Told you they can't rap on beat, man. Tell them dudes, stay where they at. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And now, of course, I get niggas like Verb and everybody trying to rally the troops and say like, it's industry versus them, but at the same time, you gotta look at it for what that is. Like, in they position, that makes total sense to go at them and then they, they're directly connected to Nick Cannon. So that verse and that song will hit him. It, will, it gets put on Nick Cannon page, it gets on World Story, it goes to where it's supposed to go. Now, say us just diss and put a diss out, it might not make it to the level that that, that song made it to because it won't have the push behind it. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference to me. And I just think like they could have came a lot harder. It wasn't no diss personal to them. Like I said, I want them dudes to win. I got they back. I, I, I clicked it to listen to it to support. You know what I'm saying? But I'm still not no yes man and gonna say it's dope if I know it ain't dope. You feel what I'm saying? And I, and I didn't go on, I just put it on my Twitter. I didn't go on Instagram making live videos. I didn't go on YouTube. I didn't call no media people like, man, let me hurry up and tell y'all how trash this record is. The battle ever suck. Like I ain't do that. I just said, these are the youth the Red Squad one time. That was one post I made. And after that, I broke down how I meant, I like, man, even if I'm supporting them, no matter what, if your auntie cooking ain't good, I'm going to still give her $20 because that's my auntie's to, to buy the plate. I might not even eat the plate. I might give it to somebody else who's less fortunate, but I'm going to still support it. Just like if y'all was selling that record, it was $9.99, I'm going to buy it. But at the same time, I'm not ever listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, people calling that one of the worst diss records in, in history. They're not, they not looking at it like, you know what I'm saying? How y'all took it small scale and probably was playing with it, but you dissing somebody that's so large, like you know what I mean? And, and now it's on the scale of and your bigger, credibility your is credibility on the line because you're a battle rapper. Because you're a I get battle it. rapper, you feel what I'm saying? So that's how we started taking it. Like, oh damn, man, I know they ain't trying to say my boys can't make no records. Like now, maybe by us saying this, whack a light a fire in them, and they go back in there and show them like, you know what, we ain't finna play with them. You know what I'm saying? Right, you feel right, me? Right. But it, it could be all publicity and jokes, and they getting money and. You know, it's the industry. It could be other ways why they happened the way it happened, but you can't blame us because we looking at it as fans. That's all it was. It was just answering as a fan more so than answering as a homie. You know what I'm saying? Like as a homie, Hit I would man looked like he was mad. He was kind of upset. I don't know what was up with him. Like he like he I ain't never dissed you publicly. But I'm like, damn, nigga, I ain't even like dissed you. I said he, I never even said nigga Hitman was trash right. or Clips was trash. I said he said he was the Red Squad. After that, the only thing I said, I, you got the tweet. They didn't bring him up. I'm like, man, at the end of the day, man, I support them dudes. I want them to win. But I still, if it's trash, it's trash to me. You know what I'm saying? That's right. it. That's all. You feel me? So yeah, he got upset. But like I say, man, if he won't smoke it, if he feel like what I said was crazy, then he know where to. Holla at me at. We can we can go back for back on the beat too if he wants to. You know what I'm saying? But if he wanna get in that ring, he know where to find me at. This is where he be at. You on real, this is where he get the smoke at. So hit man, know what's up, man. And I wasn't saying that to get no battle though. You know what I'm saying? Like I just said it, but it's like we've been going back and forth low key for a minute anyway. So the fans started pushing out there, like, oh yeah, you hit man to smoke you are. Well, all right, well let's see then. You know what I'm saying? If that's what it is. Yeah, you you get battles anyway. You battle on top tiers every day. Every day, man. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you ain't got to call me. Yeah, now. hit man, yeah. what's up, man? Show out my boy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like I fucks with them heavy, but nah, man. Once you get the so, so so no contact with him other than the Twitter. Thing. No, you, no, okay. no, it wasn't nothing like that. It wasn't like it was taken out. I didn't take it like he, I understood where he was coming from. I didn't take it like he was on some like, man, I ain't fucking with you. I didn't take it like that. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like, like now nah, I ain't rocking with you, Geesh. When you see me as on, I wasn't looking at it like that. Like it's up. Like, nah, man. Like, man, I'm thinking he just saying how he felt. Like, I'm up. I understood it too, though. Like I say, I understood it when he said, like, man, I ain't never. If he felt like it was something that he that I, the idea was whack, which I don't feel like I ain't did nothing whack. But if he felt like it was something that I did whack and he ain't personally put it out, but I'm just here to say if. Say I put out a record, uh, any of the songs I ever put out, you know what I'm saying, that I ever put out, and he just didn't like it. If he would have tweeted like, I don't know, man, that Geechee uh, Blue Skies record really wasn't hitting for me. I wouldn't Can't have been. nobody say that. Yeah, but if he did, I wouldn't <laughs> have been like, oh, nigga, I'd have never told you your music was whack. I probably would have been like, oh, dang, bro, what about it didn't you like? Right. You know what I'm saying? All He, he could have easily been like, what about the, this record was trash? So then I could have broke it down like, bro, I think you done went harder than this. You know what I'm saying? I think you took it light. You was coming with like real simple and you ain't known for that. I'm thinking you more, you could have came a little bit hard. Not even saying you got to be intricate and all lyrical, but this Eminem violating. You know what I'm saying? Like make him look crazy. Like talk to him stupid. Like you ain't nothing. Like he, talk to him yeah. like you would talk, talk to him like you would talk to him on that URL stage. Yeah. Like put that on the beat. Make make him feel so stupid. So when people listening to it, they like, yo, did you hear what Hitman hollering them said about Eminem? Like bruh. You know what I'm saying? Instead of people being like, ah, oh, man, that shit's so trash. Em better not respond. You know what I'm saying? That's the narrative. Oh, Em better not respond, man. If Em say something to that, he lost. You know what I'm saying? This shouldn't be he's like saying that. he don't have to respond. He don't gotta respond. He don't like, come on, man, nah, man. So yeah, and like I say, I think the back, I wouldn't only me. I seen there was other battle rappers that felt the same way, or mm. people like that that felt the same way I felt. 
and I think they kind of took it personal, but I think like a lot of them was thinking like me, like we just wanted to see better out of that. That was it, you know what I'm saying? 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame radio. Let's go.